You get mud ball soup out of it. That's nice. cool. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> Let's let's try and uh, let's try and chemically analyze that too. That's that's a cure all. <laughs> it's a magic cure all. Okay, oh, you got the cure for the common cold right there. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, right. What do you guys want to do now? You've still got all the art. You managed to deal with one piece of your puzzle and forget about the rest in the most efficient manner I've ever seen. What do you do now? I have to see the list of stuff we got. Oh. Well, we got a um, we've got a Latin book and we got the account books um, that they said would um, allow Memzi to blackmail Esty. I don't know if we should burn the account books or give them to her because if we give them to her, she will probably say, "You know too much. We kill you." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the kind of thing that would happen to you. you know? Yeah. But uh, she might be extremely grateful if we um, if we tell her that um, that we came upon these in a note. I don't know if Memzi left it around or something and show her the whole thing. Although Memzi is our meal ticket. Well, you know what? We can get another director. So, destroy or show? Destroy or show? Uh, I say, let's show it to her. All right. That sounds good. That's what I was thinking, too. Yep. All right. We'll All right. So, Esty. yeah, we're going to make an appointment with Esty. All right. You guys get an appointment with her and stuff. And when she, uh, uh, when she meets up with you, she takes the books and looks at the note, and the letter and stuff that came with it. She looks at you guys and then she asks one simple question. Did you figure out what these books meant? I have no idea what those books mean. I didn't even open them. Give me acting roles, please. This is the important one because she is sharp as fuck. In fact, hold on. Before you make them, let me figure out what her going against skill is because it's not a simple success or fail on your part. You are actively going against her detect bullshit skill, which is amazingly high for some reason. You're not sure why. You're going to guess it soon. She'll shoot you in the back of the head. I don't have bullshit. I actually don't know what's in there. Success at minus 30. Well, what is what is your uh, acting at? Uh, my, ac my acting is fifty-one. Okay, so you need a thirty or less, thirty-one or less. I rolled a twenty. You're good. And well, unfortunately, somebody else did mention uh, what was in those books and stuff oh, during, no. within your hearing. So good luck. <laughs> that is, is your... not a success at half. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not even a half. What's your acting? I'll tell you what you need to get. Uh, my acting is 60. Ooh, so you only need a 40 or less. I understand, she says, looking at you, and you're thinking uh, the word's car bomb for some I'm, reason. I'm, I'm pausing. Are you sure? Well, that's oh. a success. Oh, oh, she tells you you're good boys, <laughs> and she's very happy that you have brought this to her attention. She's sure it doesn't mean anything, but... She likes that you guys immediately brought it to her attention. You are now in very good with Esty. All right. Did we get any pause for the Smurf campaign or no? Or the Smurf yeah. mission? Uh, four. Yeah. You got four? 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I was expecting, I was expecting, uh, here we go. Is that it? <laughs> All right, let's go to my crew. <laughs> That's so fucked up there. It's like, come on, Esty. You still got a couple years left in you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Her name is Esty Blumenfeld, if anybody needs the last name. Pointed nose, somewhat nasal voice with sharp, dark eyes. Dark brown hair, thin and angular, age in 50s or 60s. She is the stereotypical Jewish mother in law. And now you guys are like her kids. So it's, I'm happy and sad for you. 
<laughs> As she's get... going out of her office, she she uh, tells Ken, like, stand up straight. She just keeps walking. He's like, mm -hmm. I'm so stoned. Where are my smart fairies? <laughs> I think it's not very. <laughs> what a fucking horrible addiction. Okay, right. so. Um, okay, so you dealt with two, two of the pieces of the puzzle. Ah, ah, ah. So, Alex, um, we've got this Latin book saying that we can make gateways to other dimensions. Have you ever been to another dimension? I love Where are you wanting to talk about? Where do you want to have this conversation? <laughs> Back at home. In a you got to specify, and we drive home, and Alex, you know. Is okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Way outside of Esty's office. <laughs> you been to other dimensions? Esty's like, I fucking hate actors. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we take it back to the dojo. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking anyway. So next time I'll say it. Yeah, um, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got this book in Latin. None of us know Latin. You know Latin, Phil? I might know Latin. Let's see. I know Latin. You know Latin. Read it. <laughs> well, you, you want to read right the book? Now, Right now, you you uh, can kind of struggle out what it is, but you wouldn't trust your shitty Latin with uh, being able to read uh, everything in properly and stuff that's in there. Um, but um, do you already did I already tell you generally what the book does? Uh, you told me. I'm not sure you told Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, according to what you managed to puzzle out, and also the, a lot of this information is available via Google Translate. However, Google <laughs> Translate versus Latin, not doing great because Latin's a fucked up language. But essentially, out in nature under a full moon on a hill, black candles, sage burning, various chants, and very important, a ring that those wishing to travel must stand inside. Uh, this book itself, no copies must be used. The ring can be of any substance desired, but should it be broken uh, by demons that come to get you during a ritual who, who try to smash it most mightily, then the ritual will fail and everyone will get eaten. Mm -hmm. um, there's also some margin notes uh, from somebody who's been struggling using Google Translate, and apparently it's kind of fucked up, and they say that it's not working despite what they'd heard and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't put any notes on his attempts, like what he's tried versus what he said. Hasn't. He said this should be fucked. Okay. <laughs> Very concise. Exactly. <laughs> he is good at concise. <laughs> so that is lead number three, and um, we're going to need to get that translated. I think, Phil. Let's go to a. Well. No. Let's go to the last chapter. Here. <laughs> A lot of professors. We're, we're in uh, San Angeles. Well, it'd have to be a really cool professor. Maybe I can give him some ketamine. <laughs> That's your answer for everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Alex is just sitting there. You have no idea what, what he's up to, but he's just he's balanced on two whiskey bottles since it's in dojo. Does Alex know Latin? Alex, you know Latin? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a car that's made Latin, you idiot. <laughs> what the fuck? I hold it in front of his drunk face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says. <laughs> did, Apparently, did you make... no problem with this at all. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> like a bedtime story. <laughs> Is there Mother Goose in there? That's my favorite bedtime story. <laughs> Can you write out a translation for us, Alex? All right, boys, sit down on your. I'll get you some uh, milk and cookies. Cheese, milk and cookies. And uh, Jim brings in milk. Jim, and Jim, milk and cookies. Yeah. You call him Jeeves too? That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he hates both of you guys so much. <laughs> and um, right, you need a ring, according to the book. I'm not going to do it. I'm just reading the book out. I'm not going to oh. summon this bloody thing. I oh, got it. Well, uh, yeah, give me give me the the uh, the spell roll thing at half anyway because you are reading it out loud. 
Skullfinger. Well, it's the in, you're you're saying, and then the, then you must say uni aki one, you know, and they're like, oh, he's reading it to us in Latin. That's spell thing, but you get plus twenty to do to a book. So whatever your skill in that spell thing is, do you have that spell thing skill? What do you mean, like spellcraft? Well, no, the the uh, the, the game have you ever used this book to specifically uh, make it go before. No. Ah, okay. What's your learn plus twenty divided by two? Uh, learn plus twenty is uh, thirty eight. So uh, roll roll less than half that. Roll less than twenty, and then we'll figure it out. No. Good. Yeah. All right. So yes, he reads the whole book to you guys fluently as though he natively speaks latin okay i'm taking notes <laughs> it is a long rambling diatribe in a different language you don't understand <laughs> cool he's not saying it in english no no he's just reading it in latin like it's a bedtime story but you got milk and oh. cookies okay cool <laughs> alex could you possibly uh transcribe that into english for us well, I'm two languages. Yeah. You got your milk and cookies, you know. I'm already asleep. One of one of them is not asleep. Would you like to go to uh, step two with that one that's not yeah. asleep? Sure. Okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna grapple him and fucking put him in a sleeper hold and knock him out. <laughs> that's, what <laughs> you're doing. that's what you do with the children. I'm done. Bedtime story. Go to I sleep. It is today, Wednesday, April 16th, 2021. I have no idea. Did oh. you get the time and date card? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do, do whatever good thing it says, because I don't know when it is. So, yes. All right, cool. I get to refill my card. Refill my hand. How about it? If all yeah, one the GM card. doesn't know you when. How's that? <laughs> Right. Well, for one of my campaigns, knowing the exact date was super important for the yeah. players, but for this one, it's much less. Right. Because they had the reports to fill out and shit. I, I get a refill. Anyone have some crap cards they want to trade away? I have a victory, an alertness, a reroll, and a party escape. I have a very useful oh, hell, I'll take the victory. God damn, I'll, give you a bargain, I'll give you a bargain plus 20 for that. that works. Actually, just, just throw out any cards you don't want. Uh, and take his cards, they'll save you a couple steps because he's going to throw them out to get a refill, yeah? Yeah, Yeah, I'd like my other cards. Okay, well. I'd... So I'll I hold on to the victory. Take. Hey, does Matt have any cards he wants to get rid of? Matt, do you have any cards you want to get rid of? He's asking. Um, yeah, pretty for assistant reroll or something. I got a reroll. Is fucking sexy. Assistant, assistant plus five. Sorry. Oh, plus five is different. Yeah. Okay. You want alertness or a party escape? Uh, also, I have a regular reroll. Yeah, it's gonna be regular reroll. Okay. You're getting to find out what he thinks of the other two right there. What? All right, and I will. Well, I'm just gonna end up throwing away that assistant plus five percent, anyways. Yeah, so guys, I have a victory and a full retrieve in my hand right now. Ooh, sexy. So let's do something interesting. Draw two. Draw. I would I personally consider dumping the party escape and what was the other one you had? Yeah, I would. Alertness. Yeah, I'd get rid of those because you got three people who are sticking together making notice okay. shit rolls. But it's up to you. Draw two. I mean, if everybody's a beginning player and shit, then, you know, getting that vital spot hidden might be a little harder, but there's three yeah. of you and you're good at this. We all have decent spots, yeah. Yeah, mediocre cards. I'm not a vampire. How am I supposed to use this card? Take a, take a new card instead. Oh, and just chuck the vampire card for free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, I, if there was any vampire PCs in the campaign, then it wouldn't be like that, but there aren't. The gods hate me. Discard all my cards and refill my hand. No trading. There That's you go. So, well, so you had a mediocre hand before, you said, so. It was, yeah, it was pretty mediocre. Uh, four. Hey, it's like I had that hand I got before I started all this. Cool. <laughs> 
Right. Was that mediocre or good? Yeah, mediocre. Right. Had a pretty good head before. I don't know. So. Well, yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. There you go. Well, it, it's the hand after I traded and got all the crap cards from everybody. Ah. All right. <laughs> well, um, is it? Is it? I, I think I want to go to bed and uh, get my magic points back. <laughs> the night night story worked. Take a card, yeah. Alex. <laughs> On both players. <laughs> You've knocked them out. No problem. Uh, yeah, okay. And the next day, everybody goes to work. Everybody does stuff. If you, uh, Everybody give me a talent roll. There you go. You're off talent. working and stuff. Talent, talent, talent. <laughs> I get a check in talent. Fail. You suck. I will have tried my sword trick twice this morning. Okay, yeah. Fail. You want to try any of your spells? Fumble. No problem. He throws the sword through uh, the wall and goes, ha, fuck this sword. I didn't like it anyway. Check in sword trick. My sword trick is getting up pretty quickly. I haven't critted on it once yet, so I only have the one spell still. That's rough. I'm going to try uh, General Pocket as well. What are you pocketing, Booze? That makes sense, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 12, 14. Okay. So uh, it's after work. It's about three in the afternoon. The director spent most of his time uh, looking nervous, sweating, and jerking at any loud noise. Uh, he doesn't seem to be his old self for some reason. <laughs> Spending a week in a K hole will do that to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that could be it, too. So, uh, and you guys are all back at the dojo or wherever you're wanting to go to. It's You're done working. You've got free time. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other leads in my notes. Um, I guess I'm going to read the English translation of that Gates, that Gates bell thing. Yeah. Uh, it's as I said before, but uh, the only other note is that it can only be done uh, well, the author drones on about there are other worlds out there, and he says that he's discovered a way by which the children of Zeus and only the children of Zeus may travel to a different world. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that is this book, apparently. Okay. So. No. Oh. I want to hunt down where the barber's at. There was this barber in this other he's world. He's getting ready to work with this fucking mysterious book, and he's like, oh, I need a barber. You're like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> mysterious old book. Look well, we, can, we can deal with the book for now, but at some point I want to find the barber. Okay. All right. That, that's that's nice, Phil. Thank you. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping page. Flipping pages. Yep. Uh, I uh, we uh, I take them to a metal worker. All right, you guys head over to uh, King Metal right. for all your metal needs. Here's the design. Please build it. It's a metal circle. <laughs> the guy just circle. looks at the camera like, you know, first I was apprentice for four years. Then I worked as a journeyman for four more years, and after that, I became my own master. And now I have people coming and asking for a circle. He literally goes over and comes back with a circle. Is this close enough? He asks. Uh, it's big enough. Is it big? How big is it? Is, is it big? He brings you one that's uh, uh, as big as a uh, tractor tire. Is this big enough? No, bigger. Bigger. <sighs> for four dudes to stand comfortably in. Yeah, at least. So five. Five dudes. All right. He Preferably closed. He comes back with a fucking dodecahedron. Is this big? Wow. <laughs> All right, he takes it away. He comes back with, uh, yeah, okay. Eventually, he comes back uh, 
with rolling a really large circle and demands a thousand dollars for it. So it's, I it's my credit card. There you go. <laughs> Ching. Okay. You've got a circle that is big enough that two people need to be careful rolling it. You don't know how you're going to get it anywhere unless you slowly roll it there. Yes. <laughs> roll it. There you go. He says back to the house. All right. That takes hours. All right. All right. Uh, it, Give him another 500, uh, lay down 20 of trucks and take us back to the house. Fair. Yeah. The guy's happy to do it if you give him 500 more. All right. All right. Uh, credit card. I'll just give the other two. He doesn't seem to carry money on him. <laughs> this is troubling to you. So, yeah, you put it on your credit card. He puts it under uh, uh, buffing. And, uh, right. You guys get a ride back uh, with the, it's a slow truck, but it's a hell of a lot faster than trying to roll a giant metal fucking wheel there. <laughs> You're at your house. They put it, uh, lean it up against your dojo. There Does you go. drive the truck up the driveway? Oh, fuck me. He says, he <laughs> <laughs> attempts to back the truck out of the driveway. <laughs> 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 ah, ah. <laughs> uh, another one. Another one is lost. The <laughs> Jeeves walks out and shakes his head. <laughs> All right. That's right. Uh, I attempt to administer first aid to the truck driver. <laughs> All right. Go for it. Here comes the tourniquet to the neck. Uh, that's a fail. That's right, a fail. Yeah. Not, not by much, though. The guy, the guy's like, my arm, my arm. You slap a bandage on his head and kiss the side of it. He goes, what? <laughs> That's his first day. All right, Yonche, glad that tell him Rock Eversol took care of you. <laughs> I wave. My work here is done. It certainly is, he says. They get a tow truck to get his truck, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, they go away. Does the tow truck go into the chasm, too? The tow truck's not going up on the thing. It, 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 <laughs> this tow truck has been here so many times that the fucking tire tracks fit the tow truck as he's carefully getting it. He's like, oh, this is something different. Usually, it's those fucking golfs that are down here. But, yeah, he, he, he's working on getting the truck out. It's not coming out. He says, you may have to just live. Can you live with it being there? And they're like, are you fucking insane? Get the crane or something. So <laughs> things are going to go on. Do you guys just want to sit there? Eventually, Jim is bringing out chairs with umbrellas and drinks and stuff. Can we get some popcorn? Popcorn, Jim? Popcorn, Jim? <laughs> Please? Popcorn, Jim? Popcorn, Jim? Uh, very good, sir. Yeah, he goes off to make popcorn. You guys are sitting there drinking alcohol and giggling and watching the fucking truck. They bring out a fucking crane and stuff. <laughs> it just shows like, and eventually they bring out just miscellaneous heavy gear and they bring out an expert. <laughs> the crane gets stuck head off of its moorings and snap. Fuck flat in front of it. Everybody give me a dodge roll real quick because you need to be live here. Otherwise you may get crushed by the crane. Fail. Fail. <laughs> Says Rock is the R2 fucking spring off to our sides. Now give me a luck roll. Make it really good, Rock. This is the um Buster yes. Keith. Did you make yeah. it really good? I made uh, it by 10, by a quarter. Wait, did you actually. also fail your dodge roll or something? I failed my dodge roll, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. So you made it by a quarter. That is good enough. How about Rock Eversol? Were you crushed like a fly? Uh, I made it by a quarter. You rolled a 52, dude. How's that by a quarter? You got 200 luck? That, I, I'm thinking the other way around. Made it by three quarters. Yeah, three quarters isn't very impressive. You're going to take no. some damage there. I didn't even make it by half. Ah! Regular success. You get squished like a bug. Uh, let's see. For the guy who made it by a, a little bit, roll D8. For the guy who did not make it at all, roll a D12. No, I, I made it. Oh, you made it. Basic oh. success. Nothing special. Oh. Okay, roll a D10 for you, D8 for a little bit better. Oh, one. Bug, guys. Okay, and get the jaws of life. Yeah, that's exactly get me out from underneath this thing. 
Oh, they, you got a small metal splinter there, Phil. Ow, <laughs> ow. Now the ambulance comes out, and, the ambulance, and they bring out the Jaws of Life. First, the Jaws of Life guys. <laughs> They're just grinding the metal into you, and you're laying there screaming in great pain. And now uh, I'm sitting there laughing, eating popcorn and drinking whiskey. <laughs> And they're just grinding this fucking metal into you, and everybody's guy around. And meanwhile, uh, the doctor comes over, and he, he he's wanting to treat Phil. Let's see how that goes. Pull yeah. it out! Pull it out! Oh yeah, he he pushes it in and puts a bandaid over. It goes like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I'm in so much pain. And Alex, Alex, give me a con to health roll to avoid pissing yourself because this is the funniest thing you've seen in life minutes so anyway <laughs> uh, right and now they bring out the the more firemen show up to try to figure out how to free rock eversol and the news crews are coming out they're like here we are as rock eversol is trapped underneath the giant crane and shit and it shows like a couple of firemen hitting the top of it with fucking sledgehammers and you're going oh stop it, oh, stop it, oh, stop it. so now they're going to try another roll uh, eventually, oh, they get it off of him. Now the doctor comes over. He's like, ah, stay still. Let me. Let no, me thank you. No, thank you, doc. I'm fine. No, no, I'm no. Fine. I, I, he's in no, shock. I'm fine, he's in doc. Shock. Bring him I'm the, fine, the doc. Shock. I run. <laughs> <laughs> they take a green doc and stuff because you're obviously wounded and they want to help you and you won't let them. So they, they're, you know, get him, boys. Help, help restrain him. And Rock's like, dad, no. I hold him down. Boy, kill me. I hold Rock down. <laughs> <laughs> no. No He's already redeemed the hit points, but that's not what's important. The fucking doctor is going to give it a try. Oh, damn it. All right. The doctor's like, there you go. He slaps some bandages on your, your clothing and stuff, and he says, yeah, you're, you're, you're not hurt nearly as bad as I thought. Um, <laughs> He does seem to be having problems breathing with you laying across his head, though. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're going to, now that they've gotten you free, they're going to try to move the crane carefully out of here. It shows Rock sitting there, and he slowly looks up as the crane, <laughs> crane is swaying dangerously. Let's see how they do on moving the crane. <laughs> no, they finally, finally get it. But the, the truck thing is still here. So it shows like several guys gathered. You know, all right, we're going to need a new crane. Yep, yep, yep. Jeez, jeez. Uh, yes, sir. It says Jimmy comes over. He's like, sir. Uh, get a piece of delivered, please. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, pizza, pizzas are coming in, and they, they brought a new crane. Are you... Uh, he brought a new chair because your other one, Rock, was literally fucking just garbage after it was crushed to death on the thing. Thank you, Jim. Are you going to attempt to pull the metal splinter out of me that the doctor shoved further in? Well, there's a Band-Aid that's blocking it right to now. Pull the Band-Aid off. And pull oh, my the God. Off. The hair ripping out. It hurts so much. <laughs> you managed to get the splinter out. Event. Your body's trying to push it out. <laughs> On its own. And there's just a band-aid in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, right. A new crane is brought. They really want to get their truck back. And that's when the fucking moorings begin to break and it's swaying. And they're like, everybody run! Dad just sits there and screams knowing what's coming. Bug <laughs> out. I succeeded the dodge. Everybody give me a dodge roll as they're losing control of it. No! I made my dodge roll. <laughs> Jim's looking at the uh, edge of the driveway without the fence and going, you know, maybe we should get a fence. <laughs> oh, my God. That's perfect. Let's see how he's doing. Pizza delivery guy. <laughs> right. yeah. he, he fails his luck roll. He pulls up, and it shows the crane falling. The guy, pizza delivery guy's like, ah! <laughs> All right, yeah, and unfortunately, it's gotten so dark that it's starting to give them negatives that they're working and shit, so they tell you they'll come back in the morning. All right, you do that, guys. Good work. Did, did, did Alex make his con roll, by the way, to see if he pissed himself from laughing? You did? Okay, yeah. I, all right. So, anyway, it, yeah, it's nighttime. Um, they, they've... 
they're going to come back tomorrow. <laughs> they're they're talking right. broken cranes, a uh, couple broken vehicles. They're jaws of lifing the fucking pizza guy out of his car now. So, I've, uh, I've had absolutely enough with this. I'm going to uh, go in the house, sit down on the sofa, and dose up with some special K. All right, no problem. You go back into the K-hole uh, outside the uh, – the, they're they're dragging the pizza delivery guy out of the car <laughs> and shit. He's all want, fucked up. Do you want a tolerance roll on that? Absolutely, I would. All right, no tolerance whatsoever. Back into the KO with you. <laughs> hey, unfortunately, that means you've left some of your drugs out. So if Alex comes by and sees them, <laughs> we'll that shit up. So, Alex, give me a luck roll to find three unattended drugs. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm down four doses. What's that? I'm down four doses then. At least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> lucky you didn't fucking strip search you and like eat all your clothes or something. <laughs> yeah, you, you fail to notice that you've just taken several doses of Special K and wandered off. <laughs> okay, so... What a fucking house you live in. Um, I want to go golfing at night. Can I do some night golfing? Yes, you can. Uh, I, actually, do you want to do it by yourself, or would you like Jim to uh, rig up the spotlight? Jim can rig up the spotlight. No, oh, he does so. Great. Uh, you've got a uh, large light and stuff. If you fumble, then you'll be smashing that. But, uh, you know, I releasing your golf club on the back swim. Okay. Definitely did not succeed, but didn't fumble. No so problem. I'm really bad at golfing. Me. Couple roof tiles go away while you're golfing, but that it's fine. <laughs> no problem, Alex. You keep hearing a weird noise, and you're like, and you every time you hit the golf ball, you hear, uh, you hear some somebody uh, go doc, and then you hit and you're doc. <laughs> it always sounds confused. <laughs> Any similarities going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Cut to the next day. Yeah. Give me drug tolerance rolls from those who have failed their drug tolerance roll previously to see what kind of condition you're in. Uh, I failed because sword trick was one day, right? Or is it until you pull it out? It's until you pull it out. But oh, um, okay. I'm sure you have other spells you can practice if you wanted to. I do not. That's, oh, you suck. That's over twice my learn, but I rolled a 29. I don't know what you're telling me. Did you make a oh, drug tolerance? No, I did not. All right. You you look and feel absolutely horrible. You're moving, but it's like uh, you look like you've done too much special K, and now you're suffering for it. Okay. Alex is looking like he always does. <laughs> I'm imagining kind of a Peter O'Toole, like I'm usually drunk, but I'm still charming type bullshit going, <laughs> which is probably not good. So, yeah, you guys all get together. Uh, breakfast is brought. It shows like scrambled eggs, bacon, bottle of whiskey, et cetera. You know, the usual. Right. Um, I'm going to do my regular old sword trick tries again. Mm hmm. Fail. Fail. Yep. Same as normal, you think, Apple. And come back to eat your <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Got to get better at this. Mm. Well, so far, I think Jeremy might be the best person at it. I do not know. I'm pretty good. I just got another check in it. So right now I'm at 35. Hobbyist, you would say. I'm a hobbyist. 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 Never hobbyist. use numbers. I'm almost a hobbyist. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so I want to go to, um, well, being Hollywood, it's going to be loads around. I want to go to um, a, a place that does like really good. Um, like disguise, stroke, costumes, stuff like that, like mm -hmm. uh, special you, effects, makeup, and all that. Give me a you, city lore roll. Lower is better to know the place. I have a customized for this. Mm. Did I'll you take, gain a furry fetish in Smurfland? <laughs> I'll take I'll take Sam Angela's lore rolls there full if you're acclimatized. Uh, I'm acclimatized. I'll give it a shot. I don't know if I'm nah, I don't know a place like that. Russ is like, I know a place that sells cranes. Ah. I know exactly the place. 
Phil then takes you off. Oh, I need a, a wait. No, let's see. I'm going to need a driving roll there, Russ, to get the vehicle out of the driveway because Phil knows a place. And you don't crash. Okay, you're on top of the truck that's already there. The people who are setting up the newest crane are like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I climb out, dust myself off like this happens every day. <laughs> Get in the other car. Alex, are you a good driver? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give it another shot. Well, it's cool a limo. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fumble? Do you have a four, four less than a fifty? No, no, I, I don't. I, that's not a fumble. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I have seventy. All the work guys are really upset for some reason. Alex keeps yelling, "Call the limo!" Although he's not calling it himself for some reason, you notice. And uh, yeah, it appears that uh, Rock is sitting in the uh, driver's seat of his wrecked second car laughing hysterically, which is not making the workers at all happy. <laughs> all right, I get out of the car, brush myself off. They're like, well, no, 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 no. there's a lot of I, incoherent rage going on. I ignore them and call a cab. I, I take one of the disability scooters and I try and drive it out of the... the... Oh, and I succeed. Uh, I have tried you guys can probably try to climb on his disability scooter and go with it. <laughs> That way you don't have to wait half an hour for a cab. James. James. I'm just gonna leave Jim it. comes out and looks at you. You see, you see the other guys riding around doing like the two wheeled cookies oh, and shit. Please, James. Very good, sir. He goes off after what he pauses to watch the donuts that the mobility scooters do. He's like, <laughs> and he goes back inside and eventually uh, the limo pulls up. It's like a half an hour later or whatever. She gets out, opens the back door for you guys. Thank you. Sees right, that Alex and goes, I drive up with my disability scooter. Can we throw this in the trunk? I don't think it will fit very well, she says. Damn it. I just leave the disability scooter in the middle of the road then. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> you guys are driving off. You see Jim coming down to fucking move your disability scooter. All right. We're guys are <laughs> yelling at him and stuff. If you remember, we're going to Jeremy's fumble. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. no, that's that's yeah. He said he knew a place. Oh, I know. Everybody went. Oh, we went there. You, you know, did you Bad make? I thought place? you said you failed yours with a forty-four. Right, well, it depends. What did you do? I'd ask for a San Angeles city lore, and Phil is the only one who said he made his roll. No, I did not make it. <laughs> <laughs> We oh, tell you very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Normally, <laughs> when you're accustomed to an area like this, you do streetwise at half or full, depending if you're customized. Right, right, for illegal things. You, this is. I realize it's rare that you don't buy illegal, but. Driver, <laughs> <laughs> okay. call Eddie. He knows the fucking business. I'm sure he can fucking find someone around here that does this. Yeah, Phil keeps insisting on uh, driving to his place. Uh, my place is perfect, man. Fine, we go there first. All right, so after the BSM <laughs> club. See? Uh, costumes everywhere. They yeah. do have a lot of costumes, Not actually. Drive on. Right, you guys, uh, uh, let's see. Elliot attempts his San Angeles city lore, knowing about film stars stuff. No, uh, no, no. Uh, he says, uh, have, have you tried Woolworth? Never mind. Go back to the house. Do something else. The, wait, the lady might know. She's like, what kind of story are you looking for, sir? I am knowledgeable about San Angeles. Yeah, basically like, you know, with actors. Uh-huh. Disguises and stuff. Oh, a disguise oh. store. Yes. She takes you to one. <laughs> this is the first useful thing she's ever done, you think, yeah. happily. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, she doesn't take you to the creme de la creme, but it's a definitely it's the kind of place where you can buy uh, uh, flat white makeup and you know this kind of makeup that they have like fifty different brands for white, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, the, this is the kind of place you could easily drop ten or twenty grand in 
And then you'll have your nose selection, your wig selection, your hunchback selection, your fucking inflatable parrot that can sit on your shoulder selection, all of these things. I'm thinking more of uh, setting up a, a daily, um, uh, basically like Jim Elliott's card. Uh, that's my manager. I don't do cash. Uh, contact him. He will get it set up every day, 500 quid, send the stuff to the house. So my collection will grow over time. He makes a call. Elliot wants to talk to you. <laughs> he hands you the. He I pushes mean, a demon at you. Uh, going, you ah, when did this turn into the Kaja fumbles? I don't understand. <laughs> right, the, the guy. Elliot, the guy. Yes, the, yes, I'll show. Elliot just like, yes, just like, yes. Rah, 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 says the demon. Rah, rah. Oh, <laughs> You're thinking you maybe you can talk one of these other two into doing something because the demon kid keeps hissing and frothing and trying to bite you. All right, now what do you think? I uh, do something very well. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> he's break. He, he, he's laying on the floor and posing. <laughs> can I have a write-in skill just called something? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I did something. So, uh, right, a. Uh, yeah, do you want to give uh, this guy your credit card? Because um, you've used up one of your credit cards already, Jeremy, but you have one more credit card. Uh, I, I still don't quite understand what Alex is trying to accomplish here. Uh, he, he wants to, he wants your money. He, he okay. wants to turn this place into he wants to turn uh, turn his place into a disguised master master plan base. It's for all of us. It, uh, Alex, know. don't you have your own money? Use no, your own damn money. I don't do money. And, and that sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, he's really good at disguise, though. <laughs> Freakishly good. All right. I sacrificed yeah. my other credit card. Oh, Excellent. No, <laughs> no problem. I, see, here's, here, you discover very quickly why Alex doesn't have money. He, he grabs about $1,000 worth of shit. He hands the guy the credit card. And he makes his way toward the door, and the guy still got the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is how Alex Link's credit cards work. He does not seem to understand it. So, uh, they they have an amazing sale on uh, inflatable parrots and stuff, though. It's like eight dollars each. They're, they're like you know seventy five percent off. To clear Do I sale. get a parrot with all of the crap he took? Sure. <laughs> I put yeah, it on it's my got like a little bladder that you keep under your arm, and so if, if uh, the air is low, then you can do this to <laughs> pop it back up. Get a saggy Plastic. parrot. Mm -hmm. Plastic. Sweet. I have a oh, parrot on me God. at all times now. <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys go back to your house and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, the lady knows where your house is and everything, so she drives you back off. Have they pulled all of our vehicles out of the trench yet? I'm just going to do one roll, just to generally see how they do. I want to see if there's more vehicles that are making it impenetrable. It's not going well. Not going well. Essentially, they're trying. They're trying to. Uh, they're they're trying to use excavation equipment somehow to make it easier, and it's just not working well. Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> he comes out, he's like, sir, sir. So, Jim, remember when I said we should see about that fence? <laughs> fence, sir? <laughs> fence for the driveway to keep us from uh, falling over the cliff. As I explained, sir, our property ends right at the edge of the driveway. And we <laughs> mustn't make the driveway any narrower as people will have more of a challenge getting out. We could try to buy the land there, but I believe that the studio has no interest in expanding the land for this property, sir. So. We just need to keep calling equipment, and pretty soon they'll just keep piling up, and then it'll just flatten it out and we're good. <laughs> May not. It's like that could work, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jim. You see a couple of the construction guys in the background have gotten into a fist fight over the way to do something. <laughs> it's not going well for them at all. No, no. I'll go over to Alex. 
Five dollars yeah. on the guy in the blue shirt. Mm, I'll take that wager. <laughs> uh, right. Let me see who's starting to win. Red shirt or blue shirt? High and it's red shirt. Low and it's blue shirt. Fuck yeah. Blue shirt is fucking winning. Yes. It looks like Alex, who carries no money and <laughs> has no money, owes you five dollars. That's not a good idea. You owe me now. <laughs> How will he ever dollar. pay you back five dollar? <laughs> so, yeah, I can just see uh, uh, fucking Phil following you around throughout time. Five dollars, five dollars. Now he's like, ah, oh, skiing away. <laughs> he's following five dollars. <laughs> so, uh, right, you guys have gotten the sky stuff. You're back at your house. Mm -hmm. You're not sure if you had to work today or not, but that's not important right now. What is important <laughs> is that you're back at your house watching construction workers just beat each other. Right. Um, and you've got giant fucking metal hoop that's big yeah. enough to easily get four people to have a sleepover inside of. Yeah. Right. So it's like 10 feet wide. At least. At right. least. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So no demons can get through this one. Do, do we want to cast our spell and play around with other dimensions? We can get ready. Go not? All right, guys. I'm done with this. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. We got to find a hill, and we got to find a full moon. What, uh, what's the phase of the moon right now? I, I pull out my phone and check the moon phase program. Give me an amazing luck roll there, Rock Eversol. Dun, dun, dun. Nope, it's the new moon. Yeah, wait a while and it'll get full again. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it really doesn't need the full moon and only claims to. You're not really. You, you, it's here, try it or don't, but it's definitely a new moon. Yeah. Do we want to try it? And it is it, it is Monday. You feel like you wish you had a torch. Hey, at least it's not waxing, waxing crescent. <laughs> it would be horrible. Or waning crescent, <laughs> whatever, yeah. whatever's farthest away from a new moon. <laughs> yeah. That's waning uh, gibbon. Wait, waning. Okay. It shows. <laughs> it shows a monkey wailing. Oh, not wailing gibbon, waning gibbons. Yeah, yeah. No, come on. No more <laughs> crying monkeys. So anyway, uh, what do you guys want to do? Would you like to a try it anyway, despite uh, not following instructions in the book, or b That's wait? That's my call. All right, guys. Um, I say we wait. I think we should wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's set it up as I say to, just in case. Cut to everybody. Pick one. Us uh, or wait. Now let's do the. Everybody, give me a singing role because on the crew of the Andy is having a sing along episode. Oh, cool. Fail. It's not uh, that cool. Sing, 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 singing, singing, singing. Fail. Fail. Wow. Did everybody fail? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to be a fucking horrible episode. <laughs> All right. No problem. Yeah. That's what our fans like, apparently. I guess so. Jesus. <laughs> so, All right. That's good. So it's nighttime. It's a full moon. Uh, you're in the forest. Uh, you've got your giant fucking circle on, on the ground. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else you'd like to do? Check through the notes again. Yeah, let's read the. Oh yeah, you've got the burning sage. Uh, pretty much all that you really need to do is the Latin chanting shit. And okay. if you fail it tonight, you have two more nights of the full moon. Yeah. So, right. Uh, right. Go ahead and uh, let's see. It, it's unfortunately it's all uh, Alex doing it. Although he can, if he pulls it off, he can also make a teach roll for each of you to try to impart the skill to you. Okay. Unfortunately, he's an antisocial drunken lech and has no teaching skill that I'm aware of. Sure. But he may still get lucky. So ah. you're at a plus go. 20 due to having the book. So it's learning plus 20, Alex. Go, team. Learning plus 20. Uh. No, <laughs> fumbles. Yes. We like that. <laughs> All right. So you guys are sitting in there. And he goes, rah, 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 rah. and then the fucking black swirling vortex comes and carries you guys to somewhere really, really horrible as he manages to fumble it. You know what? I'll maybe use a reroll. 
what we'll call it on that. Oh, I was going to put you through a no-brainer in that one mod with the uh, uh, the French one. Right. Uh, 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 it's up to you. Apparently, I, I, he's I, already I, no-brainered on it. You're spending a re-roll you card. Still do that if you want. Well, I, uh, oh no! I, I if you if you if you re-roll it, uh, then. Oh, I can honestly get a check the skill. Oh, I, I agree, but I can run those guys on that later. So that way you don't have to do a no-brainer. Plus, yeah. looking at the time, it's probably not a wise idea. So yeah, go ahead and spend your reroll card, get your check in the skill if you right. can. Because okay. yes, right. I, I have Yes, that's just Oh, okay. Oh yeah, uh, just right on the numbers, man. Right. Uh you already because I think you no, I know you've been to the Sire place. Uh, put gate between red carpet and the other place. Now, uh, give me a essence roll, Alex. The R2 can support essence times three if you don't have a check in it. If Alex waits for you to roll, wait for it, Alex. Fail. Oh, just saying. You Quickie. guys are Fail. already. <laughs> I do have an assistant plus five, though. I'll give that to. Uh, to... Lovely. I'm sure he appreciates that. I've got a re another reroll card. Ooh. Ooh. All right, supporting again. Fail. I don't get a reroll, do I? No. Actually, that's that's a fumble. Nice. So he put you in negative ten there, Matt. Well, I didn't get any. Okay. Um, do you have an error reroll or something? Because this will give everybody a check in essence who can make it. I was already just used my reroll card. Ooh. Right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Where's the reroll card? I can retrieve it. There you go. It's on top. It should be. Oh, yeah. Just discard the retrieve card, and uh, then you can trade, or and then have uh, I'll then then have uh, Matt give you a card, and then he has the reroll in his hand and spends it. Right. And then we can I, link hands and sing Kumbaya. How do you bring up the trade interface? Drag it to Sorry. someone's face. Okay. You got to do it on his face. Yeah, that's fine. Go Cool. Still fail, still fail on Essence times three. No go check on Essence for me. Try to support him anyway. So, no problem. You guys, the swirling vortex, and eventually the, the swirling is replaced with lantern lights. And for some reason, a big colored thing, it it's it's multiple colors of stuff. Huh. Um it's it appears to be a blue background and it has a, a red uh, multiplication sign and a over and a red plus sign mixed, and it has a bunch of white stars with like stylized with lots of points and shit. Fancy. Okay. What was the what was the skill by by where go check Oh, uh, create a temporary gate between uh, red carpet and the world that you already know the answer to or what it's called because you got to have sex with somebody there and rub right. it in the gate's face. Right. Right. So, um, save image as. Wow, each each specific gate is uh, each specific gate is a spell. Well, in this case, it's a weird thing. This is there's there's a lot of weird shit, but uh, m most of the time you don't even get a spell for this kind of thing. This is right. just a weird special. Oh god damn it! Hold Do we have the spell too, or does only? Um, I will try and do my teaching. Try your part. teaching to pass it off, because if you can ever pick up some Latin or use the book and stuff like that, then you can definitely pick it up. Um, I will check. I'm pretty sure there's no teaching. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could try one teaching role for each of them, because maybe you can pass on them. Holy shit. Uh, declare one of their names and right. have uh, at the... Through the oh, there it is. things of uh, Rust first. Okay. Yep. Nice. Wow, goddamn. Uh, you picked that up at your learn, whatever you guys are calling this. Yeah. Is that a write in skill? 
<laughs> yes, it's a write-in skill, definitely. <laughs> Fumble on Phil. Uh, he can never, he can never teach you this uh, thing ever. Well, Russ, Russ might be able to. Okay. But Come on, Russ. Not Alex. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm done now. Oh, well, why do we have on kiwis board. on the board? Uh, that is what you see. It appears to be some sort of flag hanging up, and you're you seem to be in some sort of pentagram. There is a cockatoo bird in the cage that looks at you and says, Avant! Ahoy! Let me out, you bitch. Avant, demon! It says, Teach me air magic! Avant! Are you going to try and teach me the spell, Russ? Um, I don't think we have time for that right now. <laughs> the bird flaps its wings uh, menacingly at you from within its cage and yells, Avant! Fuck off, bird! I, I uh, try to ventriloquism that to my parrot, so it looks, sounds like my parrot's yelling at the other bird. All right, go for it. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> the bird looks at your fucking inflatable bladder of parrot. <laughs> Logan, do I get a check in the gate in the gate thingy? Uh, no, he just uh, he, he taught it to you, so now you have it. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Normally, normally, if somebody teaches something, do I give a check or no? Yeah, you usually give a check because we already have it at learn. Take, take a check. Hooray! Yes. Teach me good. I want to learn this gate thing. All right. Learn. You know, I teach it learn. All right. Also, you, you have to make both teaching and the gate spell. You have to make both, not just one. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, that's a double learn. You might as well try. If we fumble, we fumble. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is advanced magic, and I think only this guy is good at teaching advanced magic right now. He seems to have a little more experience. He, at this. he can't teach me anymore. I can teach you. Only him Dumbledore. Me. I shut can. Up, shut up, bud. You can't <laughs> teach me the bloody. You promised me ages ago, and I'll teach me air magic. I will teach all of you air magic. Yells the bird. Up Yay! On. <laughs> The bird is going to attempt to teach first oh, okay. Alex so that it doesn't fucking kill him. What, what are we being taught? Oh yes. God. The uh, first yeah. spell in the air chain, I think. Yep. Yeah. And now for Russ, hell no. And lastly for Phil, no. Yeah, so now it has to make its actual air skill thing. Let me double check to see what its air magic is because it can still fail this. Where is it? Uh, apparently, the bird's name is Ahoy, and there's two elvish kids who are like preteens that work here as well. And the bird tells you, Welcome to the Australian Embassy. That's not the issue. Yeah. Okay. There is okay. an Australian flag on the uh, wall, so <laughs> bird might be on to something here. Oh, that is Australian flag. Yeah. I didn't know the Australian flag had that big star on the bottom, the seven pointed star. Yeah. The most dangerous place on earth. Damn right, says the bird. <laughs> uh, Everything's poisonous. Yes. Uh, air magic. Oh, Jesus, you're fucked. Okay, here we go. Come on, less than 30. Yeah. <laughs> I am the master teacher, says the boy. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull a feather out of your body every day until you teach me that. I don't want to be bald, says the bird. <laughs> sucks so much. The bird hangs its head in shame. This is about that bloody salamander. Hey, you're, you're just as bad, Matt, or Alex. So is our did our metal circle come with us? Now, you don't see it around. Just in the middle of the forest somewhere. <laughs> yep. That yep. is an expensive one use ring. <laughs> yep. It would have been better from that one. Right. Um, I take them to the salamander. <laughs> he, okay. Um, right. He takes you guys out of the uh, elvish staffed Australian embassy and into Furry World. Have you guys been here before? I think well, at least one of you has, haven't they? I have not. No. <laughs> no. All right. Let me give you some description here. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you guys are making earlier furry jokes. Apparently, Alex has turned the fucking tables on you because <laughs> you're now in furry fucking world. What oh, my God. Uh, let's see. 
uh, rival into town, and 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 what makes it worse is he's walking around, and people are like, "Oh, hello, Mister Kinley, hello, Australian," and stuff like that to him. You Alex, know. what is this place? It's just one of the other areas. What's it called? Uh, I just call it Australia Land. Okay. <laughs> Aussie Land. Aussie Land. <laughs> Question, Matt, do you think we have time for that thing that you uh, did before? Uh, yeah, I think so. Very well. It went pretty, it was pretty, it, it was pretty quick. quick, yeah. No problem. Uh, the downtown area, it looks kind of like a normal Old West-style town, but don't think about out west. Think uh, back east-type Old Western town where they had like the – the uh, big uh, solid buildings and stuff like that. Nothing more than three stories tall here. Everybody seems to be like uh, petting zoo type people. Like uh, they, like uh, think uh, Disney, right? Where they have mm -hmm. like the fox head and maybe a tail, but then very kind of humanish hands and stuff like that. And are, there's about 20 different common type animals that there are. Are these... People's in suits or actual animals? Oh, people in suits and shit. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Where's the costume shop? I like this. And about <laughs> half of them seem to be wearing blue uniforms. There's a like soldiers and stuff. Uh, they all seem to be carrying old west style rifles, pistols, 